So if you're trying to install a plugin on your WordPress website and you always see this error, installation failed, could not copy file. Or if you're trying to update a plugin and receive the same error, could not copy file. In that case, this error coming because the disk quota exceeded. Normally, you will not see this notice on your WordPress website because I enable the debug mode. If you want to enable the debug mode and make sure that the problem is with disk quota exceeded, you can go to wp-config.php file on your WordPress website. And from here, you can change WP debug from false to true. And then you can save the changes. And for security reasons, don't forget to change it back to false. And now when you enable the debug mode, you can also see this notice exactly, which will say disk code exceeded. So let's see how we can solve this issue. So if you log into your cPanel, you can see here I have no issues with my disk usage. It is showing that I'm using 101 GB out of the infinite space. But normally it is not really infinite space. If I click on disk usage, you can see all the files and folders in my home directory. If I scroll this here, you can see this folder let's create your website.com is taking so much space it is completely full. And if I scroll the page, you can see the total quota allowed on my server for files is around 102 GB and I'm using 103 GB. So now I need to clean up some file. So what we can do, you can find the folder which is having most files. So for example, I click on this folder and now I can see all the files. Now you need to look for the files which you do not need. For example, some backup files, some zip files or some files which you do not need. For example, if I scroll the page, I can see there is a WP admin zip file. I do not need this file. So what I will do, I'll just delete this file. I'll check this option, skip the trash and permanently delete the files and click confirm. Make sure you are deleting the right files. Do not delete any files which can be used by WordPress or your HTML website. If you want to be more safe, just download the file before deleting. You can see there is another file. This WP content zip file, which I created a few months before. It is almost 12 GB. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click. I'm going to delete this file. Make sure you're deleting zip files or any file you do not need on your website or your server. And then click confirm. And this rule is applicable for all kind of website. If you're receiving this error for HTML website, PHP website, any website, you can delete the files which you do not need. So now the file deleted, I will go back to my cPanel. I will refresh the page. And you can see now it's 88 GB. We deleted almost 13 GB now. If I go back to the add plugins page, I'm going to refresh the page. Now if I try to install any plugin, if I click on install now, it should work. And guys, this is a really simple tutorial. You do not need a developer for everything. You can manage simple things on your website by very little efforts. And if you want to know how to increase the speed of your WordPress website significantly in just five minutes, check out this video on your screen. If you like this kind of knowledgeable content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button as hard as possible.